So in today's notes, we're going to take a look at the area of composite figures. And a composite figure is made up of just simple shapes. Okay, so that means 2D, polygons. But could also be, I shouldn't say polygons, and it, I'm glad it says shapes because it could be a half circle, a quarter circle, okay? And to find the area, we just divide it up into our simple shapes and add. So we talked about in the first question, you could divide this figure into a triangle and a rectangle. Or you could draw the line straight down and break it up into a trapezoid and a rectangle. No matter which method you use, you're going to get the same answer, okay? So let's take a look at this triangle. What is this dimension here? Here would be the 90. What's the length of that little segment? What's the length of that little segment? Well, if we know that this segment is 13, okay, and we know that this segment is 18. In a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent, correct, from the last unit? So if the one length is 18, and this is 13, 13 plus 5 gives us the 18. And then to find this segment of the triangle here, what would that be? We know the whole length is 11, and then we know this part is going to be 7, so if the whole thing's 11, what's this little part? Did I hurt it, Skylar? Four. Okay. With the trapezoid, we still have, if this is 7, this is 7. So the one base of the trapezoid is 7. They told us the other base is um, 11. We know that the whole length is 18, so if this is 13 from above, this must be 13, and then the altitude of the trapezoid must be 5. Okay, so we're going to break it up, and I'm going to show you for this first example that you will, in fact, get the same area. So in blue, the area of the triangle. Which are the base and the height of that little triangle? Which numbers? So looking at some of the homework, some of you are just throwing in some numbers into the formulas. We have to substitute the appropriate numbers. So which, it's one half base times height for a triangle. What's the base and what's the height? Four and five. Four and five. Yeah, it's always the two perpendicular ones, correct? So it's going to be one half because of the 90 degree angle here of four times five. And let's just write it out. And then the rectangle, let's go back to orange, is a 7 by 18 rectangle. And the rectangle equals 7 by 18. We're going to set these up, and then I'm going to have you take a minute to do the calculations to see if we get the same thing. Down here, the area of the trapezoid. So area of a trapezoid equals 1 half. Which numbers are the bases? Which numbers are the bases? We have to substitute the appropriate numbers of this trapezoid. It's 11 and 7. It's the, it's a sloppy 7. Um, it's the two parallel segments. So it's 1 half of 11 plus 7 times the height. But well, what's the height of that trapezoid? Here's the segment that's perpendicular, and the height is going to be 5. And then now our new rectangle in bright blue is going to be 7 by what? Length times width and 7 times, yeah, I think I heard it, 7 times 13. So take a minute to find the areas of those two pieces, then add them together and see if you get the same thing. So at the top, 1 half of 4 by 5, 4 by 5 is 20, and half of 20 is 10. And then what's 7 times 18? 126. So you want to take these two numbers and add them together. So together, it would be 136 
square centimeters for the area. And we should get the same thing below. So 11 plus 7 is 18. Half of 18 is 9, and then 9 times 5 is 45. What's 7 times 13? 91. When we add those two together, 5 and 1 is 6, and 9 and 4 is 136. They do match. Okay? So it does check. The example for 1 through 5, we're using that same figure to the right. Okay, and it's already got it broken up, so that's nice. So take a minute in numbers 1 and 2 and just find the length of x and find the length of y. So what is x and what is y based on that picture? When you have it, raise your hand. What's the value of x? x is this segment here. Yes, it is 8. It's parallel to this segment here. We have a rectangle. So if that's 8, x is 8. And then y? 6 is correct. If the whole length is 12, but this is 6, this must be 6. So then 12 minus the 6 for this remaining piece is going to be 6. Nice job. Find the area of the marked rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. What are our two dimensions that we're multiplying? Colton? And the rectangle? Just the rectangle. It's an 8 by 6 rectangle. Good, Janaya. That dimension of 12, Colton is going from the very top to the very bottom. Okay, so we just broke it up into a rectangle, and what's this figure? Trapezoid. So the area of the rectangle is going to be 6 by 8, which is 48. And it said area, so inches squared. The area of the trapezoid, which is 1 half sum of the bases times the height. So let's highlight the trapezoid. See, some of you have highlighters. Here's the trapezoid in orange. It's got a base 1 of 16. We just said this base 2 is what? 8. And a height, our y, is our height, which is 6. So it's going to be 1 half 8 plus 16 times 6. Let's take half of 6 first because that's easy. Half of 6 is 3. And then we 3 times, what's the sum of 8 and 16? All together. 8 plus 16 is 24. And then 3 times 24 is 72 inches squared. Find the area of the figure, the total area. We would take the area of the rectangle and add it to area of the trapezoid. So 48 plus 72, good, is 120 square inches. Take a minute to find the perimeter. Perimeter is like walking all the way around. So I'm going to erase everything, all the markings that I have, and I'm going to highlight using yellow. So if we add this up in our head and I start here, we've got 6 plus 8 is what? So we've got 14 plus, and then all the way down is 12 and 16. 12 and 16 is 28. But then do we have this piece? So how do we find it? No. How do I find this orange piece? What could we make right there at the end? What type of figure? A triangle. So if I draw the triangle right here, and let's make it a right triangle, because we can work with Pythagorean theorem, 
if I make this a right triangle, this was 6, because that's what y was, even though I erased it. If, what's this segment right here? Matches this up here. So it's 8, and if the whole thing is 16, what's this piece? Who knows the triple? It's the 6, 8, it's a Pythagorean triple, 10. Nice job. The triples, you don't have to have memorized, but it just saved us from having to do the Pythagorean theorem. So now I'll add in that last dimension of 10. Uh, I'm going to do 14 and 10 first, which is 24. And then 24 plus the 28, good, 52 inches. Nice. 6, find the area of the figure below, round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Well, what shapes make up the figure below? A rectangle and triangle, which we like. What's the area of the rectangle? Can anyone just say it real quick? So 2 by 12 is 24. So we're going to take the area of the rectangle, which is 2 times 12, or 24, and then add it to our other shape of a triangle. What's the base of the triangle? Yeah, and then our height is 6. So plus the area of a triangle, so 1 half of 12 times 6, 1 half base times height. Half of 12 is, and then 6 times 6, 36. So 24 plus 36, 6 and 4 is 10, so we have the 0 carry the 1, 60. Find the area, so it doesn't say, but we'll just put units squared. Let's just pick two on the back to do, so we can get some practice in. Which two, seven, eight, or nine? Now, I think it's always a good idea when I ask you to pick, to pick the hardest one, so we go over those together. So which ones do you think are the hardest on the back? Seven? And then... Well, let's just talk about how to set them all up, but we'll do seven and eight, okay? So when you have to find the area of the total figure, it's always good to know which shapes you're going to add up. So what are the shapes that we have? What's this shape? From your list on your reference sheet. It's not a rhombus because the sides are the same. It is a parallelogram. So we're going to take and add the area of a parallelogram and then add to it, what's this? Half a circle. Do you know what the name of that's called? If not, we can just write area of half circle. All right, so area of half circle plus the area of another half circle. It is a semicircle, Tony, good. Okay, parallelogram. Area formula for a parallelogram is base times height. What's the area formula for a circle? Cherry pie is delicious, apple pies are two. So it's going to be one half of pi r squared, and then one half of pi r squared. Because that's a saying, cherry pie is delicious, apple pies are too. I don't know if they still use it, but that was a saying teachers at the middle school level used to help kids remember the two formulas, because circumference, cherry pie is is always equals in math, pie is delicious. And then apple pies, um, R2. Okay? And that's on the state reference sheet, so you don't have to have that memorized. But what's our base and height of the parallelogram? Our base is 8. And what's the height? 4. Yeah, because it's outside and it's going vertically, that means this is the height. Okay, so 8 by 4, 8 times 4 is 32. 
Now, if these are two circles, what's going to be the diameter of each? Four. Yes, why four, Maruma? Because eight is the bottom of the parallelogram. The bottom of the parallelogram is eight. And then half and half. Half and half. So it's going to be four and four. So what's each radius? Two. two. Because the radius is half of the diameter. So we need to do... 1 half of pi times 2 squared plus 1 half pi times 2 squared. And we're going to round to the nearest tenth. Well, what's 2 squared? Four. Half of 4 is, so we got 2 pi plus 2 pi, because that's the same exact expression. So let's go to your graphing calculator. We went over where pi was last class if you weren't here. And type in 32 plus 2 pi, pi plus 2 pi. Or how many pi's do you have all together when you add the 2 pi and 2 pi? Four. four. So you can do it shorter. So then 32 plus 4 pi, we're going to round to the nearest tenth, and that would be 44 point six. Good. So the area, when it says to round, the approximation symbol is like this, and 44.6. We don't have a unit, so we'll just put units squared. To finish, so we're going to finish with 8. We'll talk about how to set the last one up, um, but we're going to finish here by finding the area in the perimeter. So you can break this up differently. So as a class, since this is our note sheet, who can tell me how we want to break it up? We've got how much here? This is a half circle. That's already in the picture. How do you want to break this up? Down right here. Okay, so now we have a rectangle, and what's the other shape? Trapezoid. So to find the area, let's talk about dimensions. This 6 represents the diameter. Area of a circle is going to be 1 half pi r squared. If the diameter is 6, what's the radius? 3. So we have a radius equals 3. So this is going to be 1 half pi times 3 squared. Now let's focus on the rectangle. What's this dimension? What? What's this length in green? 6 is right because this is 6. Opposite sides of the rectangle are the same. So it's 6 by... Is it 13? No. Well, we said up top, it's not 11, but you're close. If the radius is 3, this is a radius, right? So this is 3, and if the whole thing's 13, if here to here is 3, what's the rest? 10. Ten. Ten. Good. So this rectangle is length times width, or 10 by 6. Yep, so that is 60. We can put that in. Now last, the trapezoid. So we have a base of 5. What's this base? Uh, nope. This 14, I'm going to get rid of it, represents the length all the way across. So part of it's 6. Not 7, you're close though. 8. Because 7 plus 6 is 13. So your 1 off, it'd just be 8. Okay? And then what's the height? It's not this five. We've got to look in yellow. So I'll do yellow. So this is our question mark. This is six. This is three. So six and three together make. And if the whole thing is 13, this has got to be four. That was hard. So the area of the trapezoid is one half. Sum of the bases, so 5 plus 8 times 
4. Well, half of 4 is 2, and then 2 times 13 would be 26. We're going to round or leave our answer in terms of pi, which is good. So to finish, um, 3 squared, and then half of 9 is 4.5 pi. If our answer is to be in terms of pi, okay, we just combine these. So it's going to be 4.5 pi plus, what's 60 and 26? Units, we don't have any units squared. For the perimeter, I'm going to create a nice thick light purple here. Let's add this together. So we have for perimeter 5 plus, what's this distance? 14 plus, oh this is tough. Let's go this way and then plus what's this? And then this is 6. This is 10. And what makes this tough is that in blue this is curved. Oh, I meant to put 10. I should put 10. Thank you. 5, 2, 5 is 14. When it's curved, you have to use circumference. Cherry pie is? Delicious. So the diameter is 6, but we need to do half of that because it's not a full circle. So it would be half of 6 pi, which is 3 pi. Yes, you're right. So let's add up all of this. What do we get when we add up all of that? So let's do, let's cross it out. We can do 10. 5 and 5 makes 20. 34 and 6 is 40 plus 3 pi units. That one look good? All right, that was going to be our last one. Uh,